Hello, my name is Isaac Christopher Lubogo, and uh, I would like to share with you our book, which is called Ubuntu Bulamu and the Law, and uh, an extra textual aid statutory interpretation tool. Uh, in this book, we discuss what some people would argue and say African jurisprudence. You could consider it more like a, a renaissance of Africanism, if you like, in terms of jurisprudence, because we make argument in terms of uh, what was African, what was taken away from us, and what is relevant in terms of uh, the things that we need to understand in as far as African jurisprudence is concerned. I would like to begin by reading for you something very small that may be necessary in terms of understanding where I'm coming from in terms of this argument. This book is premised on uh, the argument called uh, Vox Populi, Vox Dei, meaning the voice of the people is the, vox, the voice of God. But listen, Lord Macklin, when he was addressing the British Parliament way back uh, on 2nd Feb, 1835, said the following things. I have traveled across the length and the breadth of Africa and have not seen one person who is a beggar. Who is a thief? Such wealth have I seen in this country, such moral values, people of such caliber, that I do not think that would ever conquer this country unless we break the backbone of this nation, which is her spiritual and cultural heritage, and therefore, I propose that we replace our old and ancient education system, her culture. For if the African think that what is foreign and English is good and greater than their own, they will lose their self-esteem, their native culture, and they will become what we want them, a truly dominated nation. Incredible. Think about this. This was said way back in 1835. No wonder we came about with these arguments of uh, the inception clause, the order in council, and then the argument of uh, trying to uh, bring in their law and making it uh, part of our law. Those of you who are doing constitutional law, you probably haven't heard of cases like uh, Arab versus Amkeo, Rex versus Amkeo, but thank God for other cases like Mufemi 1 and Mufemi 2, which have actually changed jurisprudence. But the important thing that I'd like to argue in this book is trying to talk about uh, the, you know, the going back, finding our roots of sorts in terms of African jurisprudence. Because my argument is that the law that we have is actually grafted or founded upon a foreign legacy, perhaps even our education system. So in this argument, my proposition is in terms of trying to rediscover our, ourselves in terms of African jurisprudence. So uh, perhaps you have heard of things like Matoput, Gachacha, Matoput in the north, of course, Gachacha in, in, uh, in Rwanda, you know, things like Ubuntu 